When the Tate was opened in 1993, it was here very much to showcase St Ives modernists, I suppose you could call them, uh, those artists that had come from about 1939 to 64 to make works of art in response to developments in British modernism, but also in the context of St Ives. Hence our building was uh, opened in order to reflect the great holdings that Tate had got of all of these artists, from Ben Nicholson to Barbara Hepworth to Peter Lanyon, and of course Garbo is very much associated, and you know the other sort of international and contextual works that, that relate to British modernism of that time. It was a key moment in the history, certainly of late English modernism. Essentially, that's, that's where our starting point has been and our programming has also uh, very much reflected the St Ives context. So many of the artists that are associated with both modernism and seascape painting of the late 1800s have actually worked at Portsmouth Studios. People from Julius Olsen and Louis Greer to uh, Sandra Blow, Wilhelmina Barnes Graham, Trevor Bell, Roger Hilton, Terry Frost, Ben Nicholson, Patrick Heron, so many of them have experienced working in those studios. The building was very much designed um, with the context in mind. The huge window really acknowledges the fact that Porthmere Beach has been integral to artistic production over the last hundred years. It's emerged in its current format uh, with the previous director, Susan Daniel McElroy, who was very keen to support uh, artists living and working in Cornwall. Um, the first two artists that we worked with, Pato Zia and Jed Quinn, were working in quite domestic spaces and were very much ready to move to an, uh, uh, you know, the next level of um, practice. And um, so we felt that they were very good candidates uh, to, um, to work in number five, Porthmere. And essentially, after a, two six months residencies, they both had six months to begin with, uh, they had a show and a catalogue and um, the opportunity to uh, do a range of different um, national and international visits and expand their knowledge of um, contemporary practice and contemporary, the workings of the contemporary art world. And so that was really what the, the whole process has been about. But having Porthmere, number five Porthmere Studios as a base um, was a really good way of um, sort of cons consolidating these, um, these painters' aspirations and, um, and, and giving them th the space and light to think and make work. And the wonderful thing about number five is the fact it's actually not a sea-facing studio space. It's actually um, almost enclosed by the courtyard. It's a wonderful top-lit space, which gives uh, an artist uh, a great sense of light and space, but it, no, no sense of distraction. There are marks of history that are still prevalent within the space.
The current artist in residence was selected during the last round of uh, submissions and selected by the um, panel. And um, his name is Luke Frost. I've seen photographs from, from the 50s of all those artists uh, working in these studios and they're fascinating. And um, the history is massive, yeah. I mean, I've always known about them and uh, to be in one, it's fantastic, although it's temporarily. I mean, it's. Um, and if ever, like, if ever like, one came up in the near future, um, I'll take it straight away. I think they're fantastic. Um, great spaces. And also the community as well, being involved with all these other artists who are good as well. It's, um, it's a great experience because um, you, you, know, I mean, you don't often get that. Often you have to work some on your own in some expensive space. But this is really good. And yeah, it's just a great feeling, really. Yeah, it's great to um, be around people as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. Heritage, isn't it? This is the reason why St. Ives is St. Ives mainly, is because of the these studios and the artists who worked here. That's the reason why the Tate's here, the reason why the tourist industry is massive down here. There's loads of reasons why that has to be kept and be such a shame because, yeah, you know, just to go to more flats or whatever, you know, it's pointless really. I mean, we need these artists here to keep on going, to keep the tradition alive, keep it all. And, you know, more artists, the better artists, and it's better for Britain and better for international art, yeah. Absolutely. It's a very exciting prospect to bring somebody like Luke Frost to uh, Portsmouth Studios. Again, like uh, many emerging artists, he will benefit from the space and light and really the um, opportunity to uh, have some professional time out and focus on purely the development of his work. Obviously, artists that have a track record of exhibiting and are already being sold through commercial galleries have an ongoing commitment to produce work that will sell and one of the important things about the residency is to give people this opportunity to experiment and explore their work uh, in a way that you know a commercial gallery may not give them the opportunity to do. Portsmouth Studios helps to do, define the history of painting in St Ives so that's why they are so amazingly significant to the town. Mm -hmm.